For the first time since protests broke out in Hong Kong against the controversial extradition bill, the Chinese government has weighed in, urging the city authorities to enforce the law and restore order. Hong Yu has this story. Monday saw the first major press conference from Beijing on Hong Kong issues since the former British colony was handed over to China in 1997. Beijing condemned the pro-democracy protesters, saying they commit evil and criminal acts during the anti-government protests that have turned violent in the last three weeks. Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office spokesman Yang Guang said restoring law and order in Hong Kong is the most pressing priority. And despite the protesters' call for the resignation of Hong Kong's leader and an investigation into the excessive use of police force during demonstrations, Beijing reiterated its support for the police and for Carrie Lam. The central government firmly supports Chief Executive Carrie Lam leading the Hong Kong administration and carrying out their lawful duties, firmly supports the Hong Kong police strictly enforcing rule of law, firmly supports relevant departments of the special administrative region government and judicial authorities bringing justice to the criminals. Asked about the possibility of the Chinese People's Liberation Army being called in, Yang did not deny the possibility, referring to a law that allows the Hong Kong government to request assistance to maintain public order from Beijing's military garrison in the city. But now, even Hong Kong's civil servants, known for political neutrality, will participate in the protests starting from Friday. Such unprecedented participation is expected to pile up pressure on Lam to address protesters' demands. Hong Yu, Arirang News.